lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, let's say some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights, need I say more. Justin Unreal. Gaethje back from more tonight. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller, same numbers on reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins two losses he stands five feet 11 inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds presenting the challenger justin the highlight gage and now introducing the champion Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibago Meda. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, 
It doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay in space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Back to the feet now. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Nermago Meta gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Gaethje. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Close guard. Final minute of the round one. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad. But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the key at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> 15 seconds. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Gaethje. Five minutes in the books. A round it was, DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov you ready? You ready? versus Justin, the highlight Gaethje. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Straight right hand now just misses. It's nice defense there. Huge block. Real quick leg kick. Great turn on that double leg. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack Triangle. Quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Under three minutes now remain in round two. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Ninety seconds now remain in the round. up now and now the damage is about to start all right he's very comfortable fighting off his back DC now looks like he's trying to hip escape yeah he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here all right so inside the open guard of his opponent you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of Habib Nurmagomedov yes. versus Michael Johnson. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Just able to get to a great posture, control the feet, and land every single strike with vicious intent. It's hard to do that without losing your opponent. This young man has mastered he has mastered ground and pound fight. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out of space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon. Oh, he gets the takedown there. Too easy, champ. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Gaethje. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Romago Medov's right back to the full mount here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, the numbers continue to pile up here. 56 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Romago Medov. And landing at a pretty good clip. 55% thus far tonight against Justin Gage. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he is proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, anytime you're in a ground fighting situation. Right now, it looks like he may 
be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Then he's out. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Just misses with the straight right. Great punch landed with so much power. He blocks the punch. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's hard. Marco Medov gets the double leg takedown now. up there, gain some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Gaethje's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Under three minutes remain in round four. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Both fighters get up now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Under a minute now to go. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Gaethje. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. In the clinch. Big body punch, digging the entire hip into every single strike. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Gate, she's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Okay, stop! to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Watch the strike lands, but 
my, my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snapping back. You could see the effect of what he was taking. Now, he may as well just be smacking them on the arm, like, good job, guy. What a fight. <laughs> Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got his double. Beautiful take. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one? That's gonna break him. All right, he's in a half guard position here. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh man, that was slick. Down with his mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 30 seconds to go. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, has the guard closed here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. This is a really close fight. All right, well, as expected, nothing easy about it. The fight goes the full 25-minute distance. Could be looking at a split decision here, Daniel. A very close fight. I mean, this is uncomfortable. I've sat there before, walked yeah. into the middle of the octagon in a title fight as the champion, not knowing if I had done enough to win. This is a nervous feeling, but I believe the champ did just enough to keep the belt. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-46. Gaethje! Judge two scores it, 48-45, Nermago Meadow. And judge three scores it, 48-45, for the winner by split decision. And still! as hard a title to hold down as there is in the UFC, but mission accomplished for the champion here tonight. Congratulations, he is still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. You know the challengers are gonna keep on coming, but this man is still the hunted, at least right now, at 155 pounds.